Greetings my kindreds, welcome back to my channel. I know I've been MIA for the past month, but your girl has had a lot of things going on this past month and has a lot of interesting things coming up these next two months. But before I give you guys the rundown about all of that, first and foremost, if you are new to my channel, welcome. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below if you will. And don't forget to hit that bell notification button too so that way you can get notified whenever I post a new video. Now, I do wanna share with you guys this New York based rose brand that reached out to me and asked me to do a review on their bouquet of roses. I mean, I couldn't decline that. So when Rose Forever sent me this beautiful bouquet of flowers, I fell in love. And what I really appreciate about this brand is that they only use essential oils to preserve their roses that literally last up to a year. So I remember my dad gifting my mom um, black roses twice before and my mom was like this is to die for. So I knew that she would really appreciate these. So I went ahead and gifted those to her as an early Mother's Day gift last week and she fell in love as well as I knew she would because she can literally keep these for a very, very long time. So. I think that this is like a great gift to gift your mom or your grandmother or just any woman that you love and adore that is celebrating Mother's Day this coming Sunday. So I'll link that information down below in the description box along with my discount code so that we can get some coins off of your purchase. Yeah, um, that is my little spill about Rose Forever. I also want to talk to you guys about Ana Luisa. If you guys have been following me, you know that I have been a supporter of Ana Luisa for like these past couple of months. Um, they were so kind to gift me um, three pair of earrings this month that I also gifted to my mom as an early Mother's Day gift. Now, this is why I rock with Ana Luisa so hard. I stand behind their motto and everything that they stand for. You know, a lot of jewelry companies tend to have like a huge markup price that tends to be very unfair to their consumers. And Ana Luisa does not do that. Mind you, Ana Luisa sources their material from the same places that Tiffany and Louis Vuitton does. And so you know their quality is superb. Their prices range from like $49 to um, high-end prices because they also have fine quality on their website as well. So there's literally something for everyone everybody on Anna Luisa's website. Personally, all of my gold jewelry that I have in my collection is from Anna Luisa. My bracelets, my necklaces, my rings. The only thing that I have that's gold that's not from Anna Luisa is my NVMT watch. Now, when Anna Luisa come out with a watch collection, which I'm hoping that they do, <laughs> Uh, you best believe I'm gonna have Anna Luisa watches in my collection as well. So, I personally am like a diehard fan of Anna Luisa, so I was really happy and excited when they reached out to me um, back last fall, um, and I've been just working with them ever since. So I went ahead and gifted these beautiful pair of earrings to my mother. She absolutely loved them. She has tons of piercings in her ear, so I just really knew that she would appreciate it, and I want to also just personally thank Anna Luisa for um, continuously working with me and um, yeah, I'm gonna share that information down below in the description box as well, alongside my discount so you can get some coins off of your purchase at the end. Go ahead and check them out. They're also a New York based um, brand as well. So I've had a lot of things going on this month. Um, and I did, I did try vlogging. Um, it was very um, hard for me to be consistent because it's just, I felt like a lot of things were kind of just like coming my way and or smacking me in the face in the process. And it's just kind of like, it, this month has been like overwhelming, but I've also been prepping for the exciting news that I'm gonna share with you guys a little later. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna go ahead and kind of like insert the clips that I have been, that I did record trying to turn into a vlog. And so that way you guys can kind of get caught up on like what I've been like doing or whatnot.
I'm going to spend my entire day like prepping for this trip this weekend. I'm super excited because I've been cooped up in the house for like two months now. Uh, I had like one little uh, weekend when Jayla came, but. But that was like treacherous. <laughs> no, we have fun, but it didn't go as planned. Baby, I've been wearing this bob for like the past week. Well, I shampooed it on Thursday, um, and it's currently Tuesday, so like five days. I've been wearing this wig, and it's still flowing with the wind. Mind you, this wig is already two months old. So, and it's still looking good. And partly because it's the NLSA Roots collection, but also because of what I shampooed it with. I used Ego Roots shampoo and conditioning bars. Absolutely love it. It doesn't have like all those harsh chemicals in it or whatnot. And for those who like care about like the environment and stuff like that, it doesn't come like packaged in like plastic or anything like that. It's literally these really cute shampoo and conditioning bars absolutely love it and it can last up to like 50 washes so it, it smells so good like mind you I washed it five days ago and I put the heat to it maybe like two or three times already and I still smell the shampoo and conditioner um, one of the conditioners smells like love spell by Victoria's Secret I don't know if y'all remember that but that used to be my SHIT and I can still smell it my hair smells so good on their website it does say that it's good for all hair textures it cleanses the hair without stripping it from its natural oils um, so I personally haven't tried it on my natural hair yet but me using it on my extensions maybe. <laughs> I'm in love mainly because it be having the hair smell so good but also because it does cleanse the hair and it doesn't make it look dry and like brittle or like you know sometimes when you shampoo hair it could kind of like really dry the hair out but no baby and this don't have no oils and stuff in it I don't like putting oils in my weave and baby it is looking shiny it's looking healthy it's looking oh so good. I didn't even put any like bio silk in it or anything. The only thing I did was spray some heat protectant when I flat ironed it. And that was it. Like literally. And some got to be spray right here because it's just, yeah, I just put some got to be spray so we can just hold the lace down. But yes. So I'm going to link their information down below in the description box so you can check them out. Um, you can also use my discount code. <laughs> but I have a client. I'm traveling to her. She lives in the city, so I'm about to go to the city and take care of her. I have like my little bag filled with all of my hair supplies. She asked me to bring Nala, so I'm bringing Nala. But yeah, let's go, cause I'm like kind of running late, but she's always late working with me, so she don't care if I'm like 20 minutes late. <laughs> you ready, Nala Poo? She just chilling in her little kangaroo pouch. <sighs> there you go. Okay, I just got done doing her hair. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm trying to finish up my, my nuggets that I got from Chick-fil-A earlier. But now, I'm waiting on Antonio to get here. Antonio's going to help me pack, make reservations, straighten up. Before he get here, I'm going to go ahead and go start my laundry. Oh, my God. I'm trying to think what else I got to do. Oh, and I got to make my wig. But he's coming over with two bottles of champagne because we're going to celebrate. I'm gonna tell y'all what we're gonna celebrate later. Hi guys, I'm back on the channel. It's what's today? What? Tuesday? Yes. Tuesday. I look crazy, but I'm here with Najee and my boyfriend. Um, we're gonna keep him off camera because yeah, but <laughs> you know, we're just having. Champagne, Prosecco, whatever, and yeah. New beginnings. New beginnings. Cheers. <laughs> I forgot what Najee calls you guys. Najee, what do you call your subscribers? Kendrick. Yes. Hey, Kendrick. <laughs> That's how I should have started the vlog. <laughs> We're on to bottle number two already. We're getting a lot accomplished tonight. 
<laughs> oh, we're mentally noted. <laughs> I'm a little mess, but it's cool because we're gonna be fine this weekend. <laughs> he concentrating. Mm -hmm. Still like <laughs> more in this bottle. I'm dying right now. Just a little bit. <laughs> he buddy. Uh huh. And then yep, you get back in there. Uh -huh. These are some big ass glasses of champagne, baby. This is a celebration, a celebration of new beginnings, love, and friendship. Love. Love. I did it, motherfucker! Ah! <laughs> 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 we got this, go! You got so excited for Lou. I know she's not gonna do the F about me. When she sent him $3 a mile in my house, she ain't gonna get for me. She not loyal. <laughs> she not. She a hoe. Okay, so uh, we are three hours deep. It's 1.40. I'm trying to get them to finish their dreams. They're both looking like twins right now with that shit. So, we're gonna count to 10. 10 seconds. They are full of shit. <laughs> Do you see this? I had three times as much as them. They drank more than them. I'm disappointed. I'm, I'm, I'm out. I'm nervous. It's okay. You need a camera. You look so good on camera. Oh, you look so Coming. Yeah. <laughs> He's so fine. Ooh. Look like a whole Chanel over there, a whole meal. <laughs> mm. We need a name. Wait, we look. We need a name for his channel. What's your Antonio Thompson? Yes. Well, I made it to my destination. I am back in Virginia. I feel like in every vlog, I'm never in my own home really. Um, but yes, I am back in Virginia. I had just dropped Malapu off at my parents' house because my mom wanted to sleep with her for the night. So I just got like, um, um, I rented out this guest room that her like complex has. Well, not guest room, like guest apartment that her complex has um, for the night. Because uh, my friend, she's gonna meet me here in the morning. Um, I have like a class in the morning. I gotta get my nails and my tools done. I gotta do her hair. And, whoo, baby. Just a lot going on tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I'm about to get settled and um, finish styling my wig. I made me a 40 inch wig this morning. So I have to like, you know, customize my frontal, blow dry it, flat iron it, you know what I'm saying? Do my little inelastic wig slayage. Yes, baby. We got 40 inches out here. 40 inches ready to go. I'm just gonna rinse it off. Right now it's soaked in conditioner. I'm just gonna rinse it off and lay it out. And then I'm gonna drive to Wawa cause I'm starving. Starving. Oh yeah. I'm bringing sexy back. Yep. So you're giving yourself three and a half hours of sleep. What time is it? Uh, I'll be sleep. I'll be in the bed by three o'clock. Like why? Why? Like why? Why? Okay. Well, maybe I can just pluck my frontal and then let it air dry. Pluck the frontal, let it air dry overnight. And then I can like blow dry it in the morning and straighten it or whatever. Yes, because that only takes not too long. It doesn't take too fucking long to do it. You're talking about 3.30, which means 4 fucking o'clock. And getting up at 7.30 for God, what the fuck. And then... At least by 7.45, 8 o'clock, the latest, I'll be yeah. up so I can take my tech exam. That ain't nothing. Like, what are you talking about? And Shut and up. Then, and then you're going to be up all day, child. And you all this stuff. And then you gonna have to drive tomorrow night, and then it's not feeling short. 
not feeling it, shorty. And then you got death on wheels, potentially gonna have to drive for me as well. I just, I, yeah, see, get some rest. <laughs> now look at you. Did you like, just call her death on wheels? You called her death on wheels. Death on fucking wheels, bro. But that's how I met her too, her head ass. I knew who she was, but I remember, because we weren't talking, and matter of fact, I was pissed off at you. And then I get a random stupid ass call talking about some, can you pick me up from Lake Ellis? Oh, and my friend is with me. Oh. Yeah, I was remember all of this shit, and I don't fucking know why. But then that's what you explained to me about how all this shit happened, how she crashed her fucking car and did all this shit. And now remember, we actually had a stupid ass I actually remember part of the stupid ass conversation we had on the way to fuck back. Because for some odd reason, somebody missed something about sucking dick. Somebody missed something about sucking dick. Huh? But it wasn't. It. But listen, listen, what? I don't know why I remember this shit, but I remember the response. And I think that's what made me remember the shit. Somebody said something about sucking dick. Oh, she was talking about somebody that she had said something about. And some dude was like, it's probably, not it's probably not that bad, or it's not something. And she was like, her response was like, how the fuck do you know? You suck dick <laughs> <laughs> so like, I don't know why I remember that shit, but I don't remember that motherfucking day when I picked that nigga up. And why I should be up for late at words? Yeah, yo, what's going on? So bald head hoe shit shit back there. Bald head hoe shit, bald head hoe shit. Y'all niggas doing. I don't know bra head hushy. I didn't pick you up from there, and I ain't talked to you the hell long, and it took everything in me to fucking come get you. Because I literally was like, fuck you. I fucking know. I remember all that shit. Oh, I don't remember what you talking about. Just came back in. I ordered me a Philly cheesesteak sandwich with provolone cheese, extra cheese, some banana peppers, and spinach. Grated, uh, what is it, Parmesan cheese, salt, pepper, and Olay seasoning. I got me some salt and vinegar chips, and some candy. So good. And then I got my all-time favorite vanilla, vanilla um, cream ginger ale. And I'm just about to grow up now. I literally left my wallet at the, at the place. I thought it was in my car, but when I got my car, I didn't see it. And I didn't feel like getting out my car to come back to find my wallet. So I literally had $6 in cash in the car. I was like, you know what? This is gonna have to suffice. I'm gonna have to just get what I can get with $6. This right here alone was like $6. It was like $5 and some change, not including taxes. So I don't even know if I would have been able to get me a full sandwich. But they took Apple Pay. And that was my first time using Apple Pay. I was like, what is this so clutch? Mm. Y'all, this was my first job. I started working at Wawa when I was 15 years old. And I was uh I was a uh, junior in high school, I think. Something like that. The summer of my sophomore year, going into junior year, I think. Mm. Oh. And extra vinegar. Don't forget about that. That's a good fuck. I was working there from 2010 to 2014. January 2014. And then I joined the military. I was working there for four years. That's clutch. So what, I was 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Yep. Damn. Four years, wait, 15, 16, 17, 18. Oh, three years, three and a half years. But yeah, three and a half years. Oh, my bad. All right, so I just got finished my midterm. Um, <laughs> I got an 84 on my midterm. It's not an A, but I got a B, so that was um, cool. I just got off my Zoom meeting with my other professor, and then I went ahead and I did some plucking on my wig. I still have like some more plucking to do, um, obviously, but I have to get up out of here. I have to clean up this mess because I have to get up out of here. My friend, she should be here in like a couple of minutes, but I just need to like repack my stuff. I 
had to change into my handy dandy sweatsuit attire because baby it's cold out there and i bought my baby bryson <laughs> i don't know y'all haven't seen bryson in so long but bryson is definitely going out of town with me y'all i'm a good mom i'm not gonna leave my baby at home my mom already watching nala it's gonna be me and bryson this weekend hello bitch i was rushed you can't vlog me looking like this i look like this bitch you have a wig on huh a hot mess nice today. Oh my, they didn't want to bitch. Dress. Listen, it's like the same thing you're going through. It's like, what? Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's okay. Because we're going to fuck my dad. I should call fucking CPS on your ass. Bitch. <laughs> we got Bryson looking. How the fuck Bryson looking right now? I'm about to go get my damn nails done. I'm pretty so glad you are not going to have kids for real, bitch, because your baby out here looking crazy. Girl, he got the Donald Trump on. Dun, dun, dun. And um, the apartment is really cute. It's the floor to ceiling windows for oh, me. Bitch. The natural lighting for me. It's so cute. And then Hi. this heifer came up in here with a whole bag full of cleaning products. Oh, I did. And I will. And including I will. Windex. I would have never thought to bring Windex. It's always serves as antibacterial, antiviral Windex. That's why I got it. Because we about to just stay poached. Oh, well, I'm going to definitely let her do her All my things. over here. Um, and yeah, and I guess just give you guys a, a quick little tour before we make it cute. So, you guys are this is it. birthday girl. I don't know if you guys remember Bryson, <laughs> but... Bryson has um, been through it, um, but this is Bryson, baby Bryson, and this is baby Yoda. This is baby Yoda. Say hi. Oh wait, he's ready for some tequila. Oh, so cute. So we brought the boys along and left the girls behind because we left the girls with their grandparents. Um, but this is the kitchen. Um, super cute kitchen and huge definitely um, aesthetically pleasing and then I love how it's like mirrors almost everywhere the living room is super cute love the windows for the ceiling windows you know and then this body mirror right here definitely a perfect shot for Instagram story outfit photos or whatnot super cute absolutely love it there's a balcony um, seating area out here so this is like really cute and that is the view of Miami City um the the minor decors in here are really cute here is the master bedroom there is a cute little makeup area which I thought was really cute yeah, and these, it. Don't, don't <laughs> they have a full size closet I'm assuming this is probably the is locked, so I guess not. And then this is locked. Is everything locked? Yeah, that's locked. Both of them? I don't know why it's locked. What's back there? But I'm mind my business. Mind my business. And then here is the second bedroom. Um, there's two beds in here. Pretty cool. Pretty chill. I'm assuming this is the only bathroom because all the other doors are locked. And she is seriously on it. Like about to clean the whole t tub. She's taking the bed apart. What are you going to do? New sheets? I'm not washing these. Oh, you're washing it. She said some old man came there, but I don't trust them. They asked them to trust me too. I'm both the front up. 
Okay. You don't think she washed the sheets? Bitch, do you see that? Oh, she got this from Ikea. Do you see that, um... What? This is crazy. I oh, guess you gotta do what you this. gotta do. Did you buy detergent? Bitch, she got some fucking Tide in there and I'm ready to use that shit. Period. Period, please. Period. I'm, I'm tired. Gonna take that clothes off, so. I'm like super tired. Um. Yeah, I got my, I was so nervous that I wasn't going to be able to um, receive my uh, package from Matt Collection. I ordered like some bathing suits and stuff um, and it finally came in yesterday just in time. Super excited. <laughs> about to just um, install my wig and then shower and get cute because tonight's going to be a really cool cute and chill night we are going to have dinner and um mingle with some rich folks today so that's what we're about to do so let me do a quick little transformation let us both do a quick little transformation and then we're going to come back looking oh so oh so fabulous Okay, so I just got out of the shower and now I'm about to do my makeup. But before I came here back at home, I had went to Sephora, Mac, and Ulta to reapproach the makeup. So, y'all, I'm like super excited to do my face because I got some new toys. <laughs> this will be like a quick little like unboxing, I guess. Okay, so we're about to do a quick little unboxing of Mac first. Um, what did I get from Mac? Oh, that's not from Mac. I actually got this from Sephora. I got the Fenty Beauty. Um, Sun Talker, a bronzer from Sephora. Um, so I'm excited to try that. So I got a primer. I got the Prep and Prime um, Natural Radiance from MAC. Cause I really want like this really nice dewy um, finish for my makeup. I also got the Fix Plus um, Gold Light. Um, so I'm excited to try that because I've never tried it before. And I had to get me a new lip liner because my cork, I feel like it's not dark enough. So this time I went with the, what did I go with? Chestnut. So normally I would go with cork, but it wasn't giving me the definition that I wanted. And I've been using cork for years. So this is going to be my first time trying Chestnut by MAC. Um, what else did I get from MAC? I also got me like a bottom line mascara so that my lashes could be popping at the bottom. And I got me um, Pro Longwear Paint Pot. Um, what did I get it in? Okra, I think. Yeah, I got it in soft okra. And that's just going to make my eyeshadow pop. So that was my MAC little um, unboxing. So that was my MAC unboxing. Moving on to Sephora. Like I said, I got the um, Fenty Beauty bronzer in Sun Soccer, so I'm excited to try that today. Um, I also got the Fenty Beauty body sauce. 
I'm gonna use that tomorrow morning, you know what I'm saying, when I'm going to poolside or whatnot. And then I just got me a um, Sephora liquid liner. Their liquid liners are like really good. You know, I feel bad, I feel bad, but I haven't been like really like supporting Rihanna's makeup brand. Um, but I figured like I just go kind of like all out or whatnot. The only thing I really used from her was one of her lip glosses and her foundation. But this time um, I decided to buy more stuff. So I got the matte stick, the matte, um, the matte, Skin stick. I'm gonna use this for contour and I got it in the color espresso. What else did I get? And I also got, I think this is the clear lip gloss. I got the gloss bomb. So I got the gloss bomb, I got the contour stick, foundation stick, I got the um, body glow, and then I got the um, bronzer from All Fenty. So I'm excited to try that. So I'm really gonna be using a mixture of MAC and Fenty. And then I got me a new perfume by Dolce Gabbana. This smells so good. I'm excited to open it, but I'm gonna do a reels on it, so I'm not even gonna like um, open it right now. <laughs> Moving on to Ulta, I just got me some um, new beauty blenders that I'm not gonna use tonight. I'm gonna use my old ones tonight because I think I wanna do like a reels of me doing my makeup. And then I also got some new makeup brushes um i already have a lot of morphe makeup brushes like i have a like a few morphe makeup brushes but i wanted to buy some more to add to my collection so i have a lot more brushes at home but i only wanted to be cute and bring my morphe brushes for the most part on this trip so yeah that's that so i got some morphe brushes and then i've got some makeup wipes need to re up on that Oh, guys, and I got two new palettes, both Morphe. One, um, NK, the khaki colon, and the other one is Hot for hot for You. These colors are so pretty. I'm super excited to really try this one because um, it has pink, lime green, orange. Like, I'm super excited. And they're, like, perfect for traveling. So it's like my, my um, I'm adding to my traveling found, uh, eyeshadow collection a lot. And then this is my favorite conditioner thus far. Um, pattern by Tracy Ellis Ross. This conditioner be having my hair feel so good and my curls look so pretty. I get it in heavy, um, in heavy, and it's for coils. They have a medium for like girls with like looser curls. But this right here, if you got kinky curly coils, baby, this is my go-to conditioner. I've been using it for the past couple months and baby, I love it. I also got the pattern brush, the pattern comb. I use the edge control, everything. Love pattern. Tracy Ellis Ross did her thing on this. Now we're about to just start our makeup and do a cute little decoration. We kind of like running out of time. What time is it right now? I think it is 8.30, so we're gonna try to leave out of here by 9.30. So I have an hour to do my makeup and get dressed. So yeah. Lego. Decided to try something absolutely new today. We got a ponytail in. I wish I would have had my 40 inches in because that ponytail would have been fire. But I had like thought that I was gonna wear my hair down. But then my good old friend Antonio was like, no, bitch, wear your hair up. <laughs> I have on this black dress, honestly, that I got from Fashion Nova. Super cute. And my um my JBW watch and my Go Presidential jewelry. And birthday girl has on head to toe Gucci. Period. <laughs> but it's like my fucking hair is like blowing everywhere and it's like feathery right now. It looks pretty. What you want it crisp? No, I just don't want it to be like, you know what I'm talking about? Like that flyaway fucking full fat white girl fucking hair. It's and not that's what it's giving right now. No, it's not. They look like a doll, baby. <laughs> Dinner today, but 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 her sister girl came through with the concert, so we made it. 
Um, I'm just trying to figure out what my what a drink at. What a drink at. Thank you. No problem. Extra Thank you. Shot of Hennessy with edible bowl. Oh, nice. Thank you. Please make sure you wait until it stops to smoke before you drink it. Okay. okay. Thank you. Scale of one through five, it was about a two. Yeah, it was about a two. It was lackluster. It was about a two point one. They tried it. Two point zero it was definitely overrated. Um, definitely overrated, but it was cute. I think that it would be a a cute little daytime spot to have a drink if you want to spend forty dollars on your cocktail. <laughs> but. Literally outside of that, I can tell you that it's strong. The cocktails are strong. But outside of that, baby, save your money and um go to the damn strip. <laughs> Saturday is birthday girl's birthday. Um, we're about to just run upstairs to see what like the pool side look like, and then we're gonna come back downstairs, get dressed for brunch. We're going to um, brunch at Dior. It feels good outside. just to see what it looked like so we can get a visual of how we're going to take our pictures later but baby it feels so good out here I'm tired I can sleep anywhere <gasps> my poor lashes fell off I don't know I, I guess I wasn't supposed to put my strips on top of my lashes like that so now I'm walking around here looking bald headed and glue is still stuck on my lash line Okay, well now we know I need a I'm here for it. I can see you by the way. Me? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> I need a picture right here. Sorry. Thank Okay, thank you. Yes. Thank you. I need a, um, a thumbnail. a photogenic moment right here. Oh, you messing up his bun. It was already messed up. I mean, but you I took plat it. You gonna plat it? You know how to plat? I'll period. Oh. Your legs look strong. You been working out? Them things strong. <laughs> Let's take a shot. 
We're gonna cheers to the birthday girl and we're gonna cheers to reuniting. I haven't seen my friend what? 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 16, 17, 16, 17, 17, 18, 19, 20. Three years? It's been it's been three years. Three years too long. Cheers to friendship. Okay, so the Miami trip was cut really short. Um, things did not go as planned. Um, she is actually someone that I've been friends with for a very long time since I was seven years old. Um, but we fell off. Um, so I haven't. We haven't spoken to each other or seen each other in a few years. And her reasoning for you know taking a step back from me and our friendship is because she didn't want to witness um, the traumas and. You know, she didn't want to be a part of like, I guess the traumas that I was like dealing with within my past relationship. And that right there is like a no, no for me. Cause that's not what friendship is about. Um, but you know, she asked me, she was like, Hey, you know, my birthday's coming up. I want to go to Miami. Do you want to go to Miami with me for my birthday? And I was like, Oh, <laughs> I got a lot of things going on. Actually, I don't. So she was just like, she said it was just going to be her. And I, I, like something clicked in my head where I was just like, you know what, this could be like, I wanted to make my friendship with her a priority. So I was like, you know what, this could be a trip that can like rekindle, you know, our friendship and things of that, of that nature. I, it's a lot of things that I want to say and I'm stuttering because I'm still like upset and hurt behind this stupid ass trip. But I mean, at the end of the day, it is what it is. Um, um, everybody's not meant to... Um, be on your journey for the long run and vice versa so like um, I've just consciously decided to leave her in that relationship where it was meant to be in the past and keep it moving so yeah that was just like a complete waste of my time money and energy which was very frustrating but moving on you know after the Miami trip um, I did move i did go to new york and because i had some clients that i needed to cater to and then i came back i drove i drove back from new york to virginia um to attend my sister's baby shower i'm super happy and excited for her she also has a youtube channel tap into beauty i will link that up here you can check out her channel um she is on her third pregnancy this is her third baby and she has all boys so it's pretty cool she has like a a a, a football team coming a little, little football team um building or whatnot so yeah i was super excited to spend that time and celebrate um that with her now that i'm sure you guys are finally all caught up on this past weekend um i just got back to virginia and i'm about to go to chelsea's baby shower so i'm about to hurry up and do my hair and makeup because i'm already a little bit late a little lot bit late so yeah i wonder how many people are gonna be there i know i wonder but i mean whatever hurry up so i can get the fuck over stupid bitch they see a whole fucking arrow right there and i'm about to smash right and fucking to it but these bitches don't want to let me over
Look, look. I gotta show you. You see? You're so pretty. She's just stepping through, you know, looking real godly, you know. Oh, hold on. Oh, you been looking like money. You really expensive, huh? You know. Okay, all right. Let's see the magic. Did you walk in yet? Yes. How you been? You been good? Yes, I've been so good. Okay. Okay, okay. All right. Are you going to be out there for a while? For the weekend. Okay, okay. Just holding you. Look. I'm trying to, girl, I gotta get a class from you on how to get angles, pictures, uh, all of that. We can do that. I'm gonna pull up on your ass. Okay, we can okay. do that. <laughs> oh, there's a table, I think. Some breakfast. How you feeling? Got um, it ain't the hottest thing in the world, but I'm still on either. Um, also, while I was in Virginia, 
I went ahead and shared some news with my mom that I was like a little nervous and hesitant to do but I was like you know what this is my mom like I can't keep this from her so I might as well just put my big girl panties on and tell her and I'm going to tell you guys as well I've decided to get a BBL <laughs> Now, I know some people are, are going to be like, what? No, girl, no, you don't need it. Da, 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 da. But for years, ever since I was in high school, I would always complain about like my body and like, you know, wanting to look more like womanly or curvy or whatnot. So even like back then when I was in high school, I was like small frame. I thought that I was big, but I wasn't big. I was actually really small. Um, I just didn't have any hips. Like I was just like straight up and down. Like I didn't have like any like like curves like all the other girls did in high school so or like some of the girls did in high school so i was just like i don't know like always like self-conscious about that and not wanting to wear certain things because i felt like certain things didn't flatter me or my shape or just like really showed my shape and i like to wear things that kind of like give me an illusion that i do have a shape so i'm just like tired of like fiddling with like clothes and like I'm um, doing like certain angles for pictures just so that way I can feel more confident and better about my aesthetic and stuff so I just figured you know I'm grown I'm 25 I'm about to be 26 um this month actually at the end of the month my birthday is May 31st might as well just do it so I scheduled my appointment for the end of the month that's gonna be my birthday gift to myself and I'm really excited to take you guys on that journey with me as well um if you are against surgery please don't comment your negative comments because i don't care <laughs> if you are for it please i am my door is open for all the best wishes and positive prayers um and um yeah because recovery i'm a little nervous about the recovery never went underneath the knife before um so this is like super major for me i told my mom and she was just like She's like, oh my gosh, she was talking to Nala. She was like, your mom wants to be like the rest of these bras in and off of the table because she doesn't want to do the hard work and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, no, I do want to do the hard work. Like, I like going to the gym. I'm like really into fitness. It's just, I know that me working out is not going to get me the results that I want because it's just not in my genetics. So I'm just going to get a little head start on my fitness journey by um getting my lipo 360 slash bbl um so that way i can have that shape and then i'm going to get back into the gym and work out and build off of that so that's my goal and that is my agenda so i'm really excited to take you guys on that um journey um post uh pre pre-procedure post-procedure um recovery um my fitness journey all of that so this is like super exciting and I also want to share with you guys something like very huh, that's like been like weighing heavy on my heart 
um, for the past couple of months. Um, COVID has really taken a, t taken a toll on my New York experience. Um, I've always, since I was a little girl, always wanted to move to New York and live in the big city and just live that fashion, you know, forward life. And um, yeah, it's just not, ha it hasn't been happening. Like um, being here by myself has like put me in an on and off like low place. Um, and I don't, I don't want to feel that. I don't want to go through those emotions and go through that emotional roller coaster anymore. Um, 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 so I've decided to leave. I'm going to um, move from New York for the time being and just um, just surround myself with people that I feel that loves me and that I love and that we can enjoy life together, work on our goals together, um, push each other and just you know um put myself in a space where i can truly um with confidence uh build a strong foundation for myself i think this is my uber hello oh hi could you call box um unit please could you call box unit please Could you call box? There's a call box where you can call box my uh, apartment number. Okay. Anyways, oh that's my food. One second. <sighs> okay, so that was my food. Um, I ordered me some food. <laughs> I ordered this what two days ago, um, but I got me some juicy king crab express. Food is so bomb. I got me some snow crab legs, their special sauce, and hot, some hush puppies, and some uh, whitening, fried whitening fish, shrimp, and a sweet potato. <laughs> I got a lot. <laughs> and I'm so excited to eat my food, but I want to finish this video. So, where was I? So, yeah, I'm like super excited on, you know, taking you guys on this journey with me. So, we have our um, BBL journey <laughs> that I'm going to be um, also recording and posting for you guys to follow along. Um, I'm here to answer any questions that you guys may have in regards to um, getting a um, surgery, getting surgery, Lipo 360, um, BBL. You know, um, we, this channel is not for, you know, uh, we're not going to judge each other because we are family. That's what Kendris are. We are family. So we are here to support and love one another. Um, yeah, and if you're not here for that, then you can get the hell on. <laughs> and then I'm also going to be taking you guys on my moving journey. So I'm going to be um, saying my little farewells to New York for now. Only for now. And we are going to move to the South, baby. <laughs> We are going to move to the South, baby. I'm super excited because I feel like this move, like, I just know, like, we're going up from here, baby. Hey, we're just going up from here. So I'm really excited to take you guys on that journey. Um, and I don't know if you guys know, but I, right now, I'm in school. I'm at LaGuardia Community College. So um, if you guys don't know, I had did five years in the military, so... I did five years in service. I was taking classes here and there um, while in service, um, active duty, and then I had um, got out of the military and um, decided to become a civilian and an entrepreneur. So I went to beauty school. I went to Veda um, um, Cosmetology School to um, get my cosmetology license, and now I'm attending LaGuardia Community College. Um, I'm studying liberal arts right now. Um, and I started last spring and now I'm about to be done in July. I'm about to have my <laughs> associate's degree in liberal arts and I had just applied to Um, I'm going to be majoring in marketing and um, digital arts. So 
Yeah, I'm super excited. I'm going to take you guys on that journey too. So we have a lot to look forward to on this channel. We have our BBL journey. We have our moving journey, you know, for those who um, are hesitant or thinking about like leaving, you know, where you're currently at right now to start a new journey elsewhere. Um, that would be very helpful for you. And then we have like my school journey for those who are in school, who are, you know, adults. Um, getting back into school to get your degree to further your education we have that journey so those are three journeys right there and then of course we have like our beauty and lifestyle and um, fashion um, content that we're gonna have on this channel so I am super excited to see my brand um, develop and grow um, within these next couple of months so yeah if you are not subscribed to my channel um and you are interested in any of the things that i just like went over go ahead and hit that subscribe button and become a part of the Kendrick family um and for those who are already subscribed and continuously watch my content videos that i want to say thank you so much um and yeah that's just it i'm about to look i'm i'm hungry i'm just it's smelling so good right now um, I'm about to dig into my food and then I'm gonna see y'all in the next video.